time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Test it, trade it, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey. Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, Tuesday, October 22nd. S&P chopping around unchanged, currently down about four. NASDAQ up 16, Russell down eight, Dow up 14. Gold up three quarters of a percent, silver up two and a half percent. Notes and bonds a little bit red, 10 year yield up a half percent. Oil up uh, a little over two, natty gas flat. All the grains are green, euro a little bit red, pound basically unchanged bitcoin off about a half percent vix up a little bit from yesterday's close sitting at 18.54 my uh big trades are a little bit green uh, i've had one-sided stops on all my tranches except for the most recent one it's still a little bit green my um Price action VIX up about 1800 And I've got this, uh, I put on a uh, a $4 on each side straddle. So I got a credit of $8 and 45 cents. It's just a two lot on these price actions. As I'm testing, I'm just doing two and three lots, but I already closed half of that. So I've got one left, closed half at 20, a little over 20%. Uh, let's see. I did a one DTE. I saw some people took theirs off. I did not. So mine is coming back into the green with this little grind lower. I was trying to transform earlier, which I could right now, but I'm going to wait to see what happens here. See if it's going to keep coming down a little bit. Uh, I've got a one DTE on from yesterday, which we would need to hit all-time highs for that one to hit max profit. Otherwise, I'm going to be looking at just a minimum profit. Put on a 1-2, a 1-3, a 2-3. And with this little up move that we've had today, calendars, all calendars back in the green, except for my 3-4 is down a tiny bit. And then lastly, I just posted my Wugas. My early Wuga is on the 5560s. And my OG Wuga is on the 5055s. So a 55 pin would do the Wugas right. Other than that, I think that's about it for me. Oh, I had. I did one day trade this morning in Coinbase. Took a little four hundred and some dollar winner out of that. Chad, how's your day? Yeah, I put on a one DTE, and um, when I had to, I had to go to an appointment. Uh, I had to take one of my dogs to the groomer down in uh, uh, Overland Park. So, um, you know, got, they have groomers up north now. Yeah they they didn't they didn't have. Uh, an appointment by the time I leave Friday for Montana. So I got you. So uh, I didn't enter a TLC. I probably would have entered my TLC ahead of time. Uh, or not ahead of time, but before I I did today. But I didn't get back here till like 10, 15 central. So my 1DT hit 25% profit target. Um, I entered a TLC, booked 20%, 40% profit. And then on that push up, I, I kind of saw that coming. Exited my one DTE, um, so booked nine hundred ninety bucks on it, and got stopped on my last two contracts for my AM number one, and so that ended up being a sixteen thirty five winner. So TLC account up 
2625 bucks today on two trades. And again, it's it's it just doesn't make any sense to do a power hour trade TLC with these low of premiums. And so I'm I'm in the same two woogas as you. So yeah, when we started chopping right below the expected move, I put on that I put on that straddle. Book 20% fairly quickly. Now it's my last piece of it's kind of hovering near the lower end of the range, but instead of going five wide with three bucks, I just went with a four dollar on each side straddle. You know, power hours always been so profitable for my TLC trades, but the last few weeks it's just you know, Vixit, 18 and 19, I never thought premiums would be this low. I mean, this is the type of premiums we were seeing with a Vixit 12. Yeah, it's just all about the election. Yeah. So I just can't justify. I, mean, I'm, I can't put on a five wide. It's got that risk when I can put on a five wide with a, a Wooga. But need a bounce. Yep. Use a little bounce here. Need a bounce where it's going to. Uh, chess ones... mask. Sorry, go ahead. Were you going to say something? Chess master, I was planning on transforming Y1 DTE into a downside vertical by adjusting the put up. So it would look like this. So I could do it right now and lock in a guaranteed profit of 510. With a max profit of over 2000 So I'll probably do that. I just want to see if we keep coming down here. That's on a three lot. Or I could take profits of about 500 right now. I like the... Uh, that's an easy decision to transform that one. Have a guaranteed profit of 435 with a potential profit of 2000 Or just take 500 right now. So I'm going to wait to see if it keeps coming down, but I'll probably transform it. If it does bounce, I'll obviously I could miss out here, but we'll see what happens. And then we got Tesla after the bell. Is that right? Our little buddy Tesla. Ten twenty three. Oh no, it's tomorrow. Okay, I was thinking it was today. We were looking at it yesterday. I was thinking it was today. Anything after the bell today? Let's see. In Stockland, we've got on the green side, GM is up 10%. They had earnings this morning before the bell. All right, so I got stopped out of my other... Other side of my straddle, that's fine. I'm going to see if this keeps on coming down for my 1DTE here. Let's put my transformer order at eight bucks.
I just, I just put my order in at $8. I've this morning I had it. I was going to transform it at $9 and it kind of kept grinding lower and lower and I kept adjusting my price down and then it, and then it took off to the upside, but now it's coming back down. So if it, if it comes down and hits my order at eight bucks, it's currently at eight fifty. I would, uh, I would transform it. But I don't, I mean, I'm not sure if you had the exact same strikes or anything as me, chess master. So you got to make sure you're doing what's right for your position. TXN. Got about a nine dollar expected move. I'd probably go bearish. So expected move would get down to one eighty four ish or one eighty five. I'll do a tiny little broken wing put fly here. Just for something to do. Need a little bit more on the one DTE. I want to I want to bounce for Wooga, but I was hoping to lock that in first. Uh, anyway, I was. Starting to talk about the stocks. So GE's down. LMT already announced earnings. It's down 6% after hitting a new all time high the day before. 
SMCI is down 4%. AMD, yes, all the chips are down. TSM down, MU down. Although NVIDIA, where's NVIDIA? NVIDIA is slightly red. On the green side, GM, I mentioned DJT is up 7.5. DJT has tripled in the last few weeks. Chinese stocks were pushing earlier. Yeah, it looks like Baba came back down. So did Baidu. Meta up 1%. Amazon was on a tear higher. It's coming all the way back down. Not, not all the way. It's still a little bit green, but quite a little drop. Yeah, Amazon Amazon had a mighty 90 I was in that took a, took a loss on this morning. I did not start looking for day trades till a little bit later. So the only thing I took was coin. So we had that initial push up, started chopping, had a couple little bounces at the same level. So I got long right about here for an upside continuation runner and just caught that move and then got out and I was done. Got a nice downside continuation in MU. Yeah, I was actually looking at that one. And then it had a immediately had a mighty 90 bounce, which Yeah, that's right. I exited one, one big green bar and second little one. I didn't see the downside continuation because I wasn't looking yet, but I almost took a mighty 90 long. Yeah, that was an early one. Bounced pretty quick. Let me get back to 55 here. Uh, I wasn't really paying too much attention on that TXN. I was just trying to get filled. I got filled at buck 65, same as you, Moel. So what was the other one? STX.
right. I'm going to go do a little bullish one on STX. It's just under its all-time highs. It's been kind of creeping back up. So let's see if we get a push up through all-time highs after earnings. Well, what am I going to do with my one DTE here? Kind of bounced away from what I was trying to get filled on. Probably just take your profits. Well, I'm going to transform because if I close it, I could book 400 right now. I could transform it and lock in a guaranteed 330 with a potential of 1800. And I like that little downside protection. Just hoping to get a better fill. But I don't like the idea of having to let it come back down here. Bix dropping back down near lows of day. Just needed a little more downside to lock that in. Is that a one DTE, Moel? I can't tell what that is. Oh. Your three fours up that. When did you put that on? Oh, I guess it says there. 932 AM. Okay. I put mine on at 945 and mine's down 3%. Interesting. Uh, I would give it to the end of the day. Sometimes you see a little pop in. But that's kind of a judgment call. I usually just, or you, you got four lots. You could take some off. Yeah, that's probably what I would do. I'd probably close half. But I would wait to end the day. You may hit 20% here. Well, I'm messing around and letting my one DTE bleed.
Wugas are looking good. Yep, much needed bounce. Early move is up Oh, that little that little pop up just hit it, huh? Nice. Oh, that's a single calendar. Yeah, I booked I booked quick profits on. I did one of those as well right at the open. I don't. I think I got at it like ten or twelve percent the same day. My double calendar is three fours. Is the one that's not performing. It's down 2%. Both Wugas up about 20%. VIX at lows of day. All right, went ahead and locked in my one DTE for a small guaranteed profit, 1680 max profit tomorrow. Just wanted to be done with it. All right, so Wooga, it's all about the Wooga. There you go, I like it. All right, so I have the 55, 65. Fifty forty.
Today is Tuesday. We've got the BRICS Summit going on. We had Harker speak 30 minutes after the bell. Let's see, did we get any movement around that? Yeah, there was a little shoot. It shot up a little bit. A little shimmy. Tomorrow, we've got existing home sales 30 minutes after the bell and crude oil inventories one hour after the bell. Barkin speaks at 11 a.m., Beige Book at 1 p.m. Thursday, unemployment claims, pre-market, flash, manufacturing and services, PMI, 15 minutes after the market opens. New home sales at 9 a.m. Friday, durable goods, pre-market. Not a lot. Fifty-five butterfly trading for about a dollar forty-five. All right. What else, my friends? Anything else? What other questions you guys have? Anybody new here today? I've had a couple of Zoom calls this week with some people that were uh, really interested in being pro members. And so I'm not sure if they're, they signed up or if they're in the live stream today, but it sounded promising. But if you're new, say hi. Post in the live chat channel. Early, we'll get up Uh, up for dollar, we have, well, you're a pro member, so you have access to everything in the day trading as well. But we usually do have promo codes like around when we do classes and stuff, but we don't, we haven't done anything here recently or we don't have anything currently active. But if you have a, if you have a, uh, 
a promo code for your current membership, then that would transfer over. Just email support at navigationtrading.com and Lando will take care of you. Well, I got double stopped on my 1255 big tranche and my most recent one. I turned my my last tranche off, ended up filling as a straddle. Should have left it off, ended up getting double stopped on that. So my BIX are going to be red. My price action BIX, though, will be nice and green. Hopefully, we'll get in my homes, take us home. Speaking of Mahomes, does anybody watch Good Morning Football on the NFL Network in the mornings? I do sometimes. It's been a while, though. Have you seen that segment that they, they, they always do it on Tuesday mornings? Have you ever seen that segment Kyle Brandt does on Angry Runs? Oh, yeah. Oh, they probably had Mahomes on there, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, so he was one of the nominees, and they, they showed him standing over that guy, and they showed a side-by-side <laughs> -side with Muhammad Ali standing over Sonny Liston. <laughs> He didn't win, though. Saquon Barkley won it this week. Oh, I didn't see his highlight. X continuing to push up. VIX breaking lows of day. SPX just below its expected move line. NDX just above. <clears throat> Early Wuga up 42%. OG Wuga is up about 10 now with this little push. Yeah, just sit right there. Yep. 55 is the hot spot. I'm going to shed a few contracts for my Wuga today. I did a few, I did a couple extra, the nor, a couple more than normal, and decided to sh shed a few of them just so there's a big push like yesterday at the end of the day. It doesn't hurt as bad. Yeah, I was thinking about doing the same thing, but. Yeah. You know, kind of TLC. Uh, I just kind of decided to treat treat it like a TLC trade, where I shed a little bit, maybe do a couple more more contracts than normal. I was looking at Tim's Tuesday up day, Wuga ish like trades, and he's he's taking profits on his thirty five and fifty percent. Looks like on up day Tuesdays.
SPX at 58.55, all-time high 58.78. Like the 55 fly currently trading for about a buck 70. So I'm going to start locking them in. Start working the 55 to begin with. I've been getting hammered with political telemarketing calls. Anybody else? Oh, multiple like texts every day. 10 a day. I opt out of every single one. I still get them. And for some reason, somehow I got on the Montana political list. So they're calling and texting me about my political opinions about the upcoming Montana elections. <laughs> my brother lives up there. I think he put me on a list or something. <laughs> I could see him signing up for something, putting my name down. All right, SPX up to 57. It's high enough. I'm working a 55 and a 60. Calm down. Calm yourself down. Chad, where are you taking off some contracts of Ewuga? It's up 44%, 45. I, I took some off at 30. Gotcha. I just took some off at uh, 50 on one of them. On the 60, 55s. Sitting dead center, so. I'm uh I'm riding I'm riding and dying for the 55 pin.
55 butterfly trading for about a dollar sixty dollar sixty five maybe twenty two minutes to go Yeah, I'll I'll probably end up kind of my plan for the month was just to let them go all the way to expiration, but I like the idea of taking some off. So for next month, I'll probably probably do that. Back down to fifty-five. All right, if we can just sit here for the next five to 10 minutes, might get filled before MOC. Got filled on the button at 10 to the bell yesterday, right as the MOC hit. No, no fill yet. My fifty-five flies trading for about a buck seventy or so. That's just the early entry, fully loaded. I put one on at 120 and one on at 145. So I just, the early, I just call it the early Wooga, E Wooga. Still trading at about a buck seventy or so.
Vic still bleeding lower. About five minutes till MOC, butterfly's not moving much. Buck 80. Chad, I had the, uh, made some tacos today. I had the nacho cheese uh, shells that you recommended. Oh, yeah. What do you think of those? Good recommendation. I like it. Oh, yeah. They're awesome. Five, seven. My five, seven is currently down 330 bucks. I am going to TTFB on this one. Just roll with the back test. My six, seven's up a little bit. Now my 60 fly is getting close to filling. Three minutes till MOC. TTFB. Trust the flip and back test. Can you don't have that one on there? Yeah, I mean, it's right in the little droopy area, but could change in a hurry. All right, MOC in two minutes. My 60 fly is close to filling. It's right in between strikes.
Herschel Phil in the 60s. Filled on the 60s. And my bot filled on the 60s as well. All right. One minute till MOC. Need to move lower. Doesn't appear that's what SPX wants to do, but that's what I need. Back down to below 55, you go. Just lock it in early, make it easy. Give us a nice relaxed last five to 10 minutes. Kind of like we did against the Niners. Sell side 780 million. It's pretty tiny. But it's coming down. Another little push. Might get a lock. Come on, baby. A little further. Got to get below 55. Little punch below 55. So close. Ah. Just needed a little hair lower. All right, try and back down. Back in that 55 handle. I need a 54 print. My early woo goes up 67%. I mean, a 55 pin would be ideal for Wugas and ideal for Mahomes. It's just ideal all the way around. Sixty would be terrible. Mm -mm. So close to locking on that little down move. Wrong way.
Looks so promising when we got filled on that little wick. Started coming straight down. Five minutes to go. Anything under 57 would be would work. Yeah, nice green day with the Woogas today. Are you all out? Uh, I've got two contracts left in the 5560s. It's dead center. Otherwise, I, I book some at 50 and 60%. On my other one. Four minutes. Give the kids what they want. Give the kids a 55. Back down to 57. Need a stable of 57. Three minutes down in the 56 handle. I see some 55s. Fifty five fifty. Pin right here would be great without locking the vertical, but pinning close to fifty five would be the best of the best. I'll take a vertical lock as well. Below fifty five, locked. Home's locked and loaded with less than two minutes to go. All right, freeze. Early bell. I need an early bell. Man, I'm really tempted to take off some Wooga right here. This probably doesn't make sense to hold here. Uh oh, now we're getting a little, little sloppy to the downside. One minute. Yeah, that's where I lost it all yesterday. Little snapback. Need a little snap back up to 55. Sitting at 52. Twenty seconds. Let's get a nice little two point markup on the close. Man. Oh, it's coming down. 
Ooh, I'm glad, glad I closed some out, but it, it wiped a lot. Ding, dang. ding, ding. Dang it, dang it, dang it. 51.26. So between my two Wugas, still made about 20, over 2,300. Out of a possible 4,000 would have had had a would have had a pin 55 to get 4,000. But yeah, when it crosses center that late, I think it just really makes sense just to take it off. But yeah, all right. I'll take it. All right, all have a good night. Chad will be live streaming in the morning at the open for day trading. We'll be back for power hour. Cheers. Have a good night.